Traditionally, pastors are not obliged to entertain their followers. You see, because when the human starts thinking, the pastors start shaking. You see, they really do not have answers to the critical questions on the Bible. So what they do, they try to shun you up with some kind of different ideologies. And that is why they started this apologetics. It was needed. You see, you cannot help yourself without, you know, introducing apologetics to your, you know, pastors, especially these Protestants. You see, I always wonder, how come these all pastors, these healers, you know, the harvestation, these all conventions where do they all they do you know miracles and in the name of Jesus Christ you just this thing happens and this you see that appear it appears it appears on the television that the miracles are happening. You see, let me tell my viewers first that the miracles are not the test of any faith. Remember that because Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, Lo, you will see that there is Christ. Someone will come and say, I am Christ. Jesus Christ said that you find these things and there shall arise many false Christ and the false prophets, even to show you many signs and the wonders and the feats. Even my own elective disciples could be deceived or would be deceived by such the miracles and the feats of anti-Christ. So this is what Jesus Christ said. So miracles are not the test of any faith. But what is the miracle? You transform nations. This is the miracle from the one lip service of Prophet Muhammad You transform the nation. And Jesus Christ said very clearly in the Bible. He said that, Do men gather grapes from the thorns or figs from the thistles? A good tree will reap the good fruit and the evil tree will reap the evil fruit by the nation judge ye by the nation judge them by the fruits the little level leaven at the whole if the little amount of yeast does not ferment the loaf there is something wrong with your yeast something wrong with your loaf jesus christ said that and when he the spirit of truth will come he will guide you into all truth he shall not speak of himself whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he shall tell you many new things to come and he shall glorify me i said nobody glorified jesus christ except muhammad peace be upon him in the annals of history can't you see that who glorified jesus christ who glorified mary Prophet Muhammad through, through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either like it or not you see it was so easy to ridicule the concept that somebody has born without father it was so easy for Prophet Muhammad and those days Jews and Jewess all these were you know having a hard kind of confrontation Arabs and Jews confrontation you know consternation and dissenting ideologies but that prophet muhammad was enforced to say that mary this jewess it was chosen above the women of all nations it is too heavy to assimilate for arabs and it was the best way to bash Prophet Sallam's teachings by those Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab. Can't you see that? There was a divine, you know, commandment from God Almighty. It was imperative that Prophet Muhammad Sallam ought to say these things. Actually, Quran was revealed on him. So he's saying to the rest of the people that just Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, was chosen above the woman of all nations. And Mary, prostrate thyself and bow down in the prayers with those who bow down this is in the quran about mary and jesus christ and he was having the just you know, held in honor in this world and the hereafter and he was nearest to the company of god this is what quran 
about Jesus Christ. So easy for Prophet Muhammad to ridicule. But he didn't. You know why? Because it was written down for him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Iqra, say of Prophet Muhammad that this is Jesus Christ. This is his mother. Don't try to believe any all other kind of you know, ideologies rattling around in that those eras at time. You have to believe this concept. This point which I am revealing unto thee, O Apostle, through inspiration. You were not with them when they cast lots with the arrows that whom should be charged in taking care of Mary. Neither you were with them when they cast off the lots. So how you know all these things? It is through wahi, through revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.